my God, I feel you. I spend my days on Zoom, so I completely feel you. So let's actually talk about breathing a little bit because if anyone ever comes to me with a hoarse voice, a strained voice, a voice that they feel like is too small, too pinched, it usually has to do with how they're using their voice. So the first thing I can tell you, one of my best friends is actually on this call and we were on a video date night chat the other night and we kept like elbowing our husbands for screaming over our shoulders into the computer because suddenly you go on these you know virtual meetings and it's like they have no sense of volume anymore so the first thing i can tell you is that these mics we have built into our computers they're incredibly sensitive they're more sensitive usually than someone sitting right in front of you so just know that about ourselves that what's so funny is that when i'm usually coaching people in live interactions one of the first things i have to tell them is to speak up on purpose because one nervous impulse we have when we're on the spot is actually to get quieter and to suppress our voice but zoom tends to do this really funny thing which is people just start screaming like as if you were talking to someone who doesn't know the same language and for some reason your brain translates that as if i just speak louder they'll understand what I'm saying when that's just not what, that's just not the truth. It's the same thing with Zoom. Know that we tend to now have the impulse to speak louder because we want people to hear us, but they can totally hear us. So just check in with that, just volume, that you're not pushing or speaking way louder than you would to someone who's literally right in front of you. And that's the other funny thing to remember is that the computer now is closer to you than a person would be. So you actually don't need as much volume to reach them. So first check in about that. But second of all, when we're, in life and we're perfectly comfortable we're not on the spot or getting used to a new medium like dealing with zoom for example we do what's called belly breathing so when we inhale our belly expands when we exhale exhale our belly deflates but one of the things that's actually physiologically programmed in our body is to happen when we're on the spot or all eyes are on us or we're logged on to a zoom meeting is that our abdomen will get tight and that's to protect our vital organs from a blow because we perceive limbically these situations to be somewhat dangerous and uncomfortable. And just knowing that's really helpful because if you can notice in a moment that your abdomen's getting tight, you can also notice that you're probably kicking into what's called thoracic breathing, this higher breathing, panic breathing, <laughs> you know, run for your life breathing. And if you were running for your life, breathing in that thoracic chamber would be really helpful to get out of there. But in these kinds of situations where we're just sitting in front of a computer, if your abdomen is tight and you're breathing up here, it's gonna start clenching your throat. So you'll hear it on me. I'm gonna start speaking with a little bit more of a croak in my voice. And especially if I'm trying to speak louder through this croak in my voice, by the end of this call, if I kept doing this, my voice would be so tired. So bottom line here, first, just check Think of yourself as talking to someone who's right here. You don't need to shout into it. So no need to like go over, overboard with the volume. And then second step is to really make sure that your abdomen is released. So that when you inhale and you start talking, you have a nice supported sound, but you're not clenching anything or bracing anything up here. 